Hey guys, this is Mao with Monkey on My Back Outdoors. I'm coming to you with monkey tip number three, and I'm going to show you how to wrap your reels nicely. Today, I'm going to be using the silicone pro wrap from Clam Outdoors. This is the black one. These are not like electrical tape. They're silicone and they only stick to themselves. So, I'm gonna put this drop, straight drop spooler on this straight drop rod. This is the little 20 inch straight drop rod. It's a light action. Thought it was kinda cute. I'm gonna be using this on there. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, guys, this is the uh, list of items to be dealt with today. Pro wrap, straight drop spooler, straight drop 20 inch light, and we're gonna have a pair of scissors here. So we're gonna open this up. This is a brand new spool. So this is a silicone wrap. It only sticks to itself. I like it because it doesn't leave residue on here. And the great thing about these straight drops is they come with these little rubber binders. So what I can do is I'm gonna use the front one to hold the spooler so I'm a righty and I already switched this reel over to be the right so I'm gonna use this little rubber binder and um, I'm actually going to eyeball to make sure it's straight so that looks good to me here so I'm gonna use this one first I'm gonna tape the back and then I'll take this one off and I'll tape the front. Got me a little ruler here. I like to be precise. So if you look at here, it doesn't stick to me at all. But they got this over it so that it doesn't stick to itself when they wrap it up. So I'm going to use about 5 inches of Pro Wrap. Cut it off. Set this aside. So how you're going to make it look uniform is you're actually going to cut a little bit. So I'm, I'm going to peel this. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to peek over the camera. So I'm going to cut it kind of, you see this? I'm going to cut kind of a taper into it. Like cut a taper like, like about there. Okay, you just want to taper it like that, and you want to taper the other side. So I'll try to make it uniform. See where I started. Now what I even do is I will round off the top. So I'm going to take a little more off of this side. Okay. So I'm going to round the top a little bit. Because as you pull it tight, you pull it from the center, it actually deforms it a little bit. I'll do that to this side, and I will do that to this side. Okay, yeah, I got it all set up, tapered on both ends. So now I'm going to start wrapping. So I'm going to start about here so I can hold it. I like to have it kind of angling in so it kind of puts some pressure this way. And then when I do the other one, I'll angle it this way. But not too aggressively. So, so the reason you taper is like when you pull it, it's gonna it's gonna stretch to the width of the the front that you you uh, cut into angle. So now when you wrap it, see that? I try to be very uniform as I go over. See? 
Look at that. But, you know, sometimes if you don't cut the angles, you when you pull it, the corners actually come out. And, and it makes like a fat end. But this way it's more uniform. So I'm going to double check the alignment and then I'm going to take this band off. And then I will continue doing the other side. Okay, it looks good. I'm going to take this band off. Slide it right off. All right, so now I'm going to wrap the top. Let's start here. Kind of at an angle. And I'm going to stretch it so that it's about the width of my taper. But you don't want to overstretch it as well, guys. So this stuff is pretty sticky once it touches you don't have a lot of time to kind of get it off center that so there you go they're pulling in like this and then like this there you go guys it's ready to go super stable super tight all right, guys, there you go. My straight drop with the straight drop reel. All taped up, ready for some fresh line. Slay some panfish. Thanks, guys. See you guys soon.